go to some of the older faiths. This is a wonderful, wonderful story. It comes to us from the, um, the King Arthur legend. But it is a much older tale. Sir Gawain is known as one of the most powerful, bold, courageous knights of the Round Table. But he was actually a much older Celtic hero. And um, as the King Arthur legends became the more popular ones, they, they grabbed Gawain and they brought him into Arthur's circle. Now, I love the idea of Gawain being this wild prince of the, the far northern reaches. He was a prince of the pagan Orkney Isles, very, very far away from the center of Arthur's realm. And one day, a miracle occurred. In to Arthur's hall strode a giant of a man. Green hair, green beard, green skin, green clothes, and most importantly, a giant green battle axe that he hefted above his head. Everyone was agape at this strange creature come to them. Suddenly whispers started to go through. They said, this green man, he must be the god of the forest. He must be nature personified, the green man. He has come to do honor to our liege. The green man looked around and didn't like what he saw. He turned to King Arthur and he said, I think that these men that you keep around you are craven, and it is because you are a coward. Such words in a king's own hall to be insulted so oh, cannot stand. All of the knights of the round table were charged to defend their lord's honor as if it were their own, but no one stood to face those words, for they were afraid. Who stand against the nature god himself. Gawain stood, knowing full well who this was. He stepped forward and he offered to defend his lord's honor in a duel to the death with the forest god himself. He offered to have a duel to the death one year and a day hence. Challenge accepted. For the remainder of that year, Gawain trained, and as the year wore on, he went off in search of his foe. But he had trouble finding nature personified out in the world, and word of the Green Knight's travel seemed always a few days ahead of him. But Gawain had other quests and other adventures as he sought the Green Knight. And for the rest of his life, Gawain wore a green belt or a green sash to remind himself of all the lessons that he learned about faith and loyalty. New Year's Day, dawning wet on Britain's shore. King's Hall roused by a pounding on the door. A giant knight dressed in green, seen before.
Bye.